1791, the land on which St. Luke stands was granted to the town of Liverpool by the Earl of Derby on the condition that it should be used only for a construction of a church. The Corporation of Liverpool commissioned John Foster Sr. to design St. Luke's in 1802 and the foundation stone was laid on the 19th of April 1811. Despite this, a legal dispute regarding land to the south of the church meant that building work did not commence to 1826. During the war, as the greatest working port on the west coast and therefore critical to the British war effort, Liverpool was one of the most heavily bombed areas outside of London. 1941, the city was affected by devastating seven-night bombardment known as the May Blitz. Just after midnight on May the 6th, 1941, the church was struck by, struck by an incendiary, incendiary bomb, causing a large fire that swept through the building. By approximately 3.36, the time at which the clock's tower stopped during its mechanism perishing, the fire ascended the tower, causing several of the spells to cascade to the ground. While the building's masonry shell remained largely intact, memorial to the casualties of war and venue for the arts. Suffering catastrophic damage during the May Blitz of 1941, St. Luke's lay disused for many years before being transformed by a series of cultural events in the early 2000s, reopening the space to the public. The reopening, St. Luke's, affectionately known as the Bombed Out Church, has become a much loved and celebrated part of the city. It stands as a, as a reminder of the effects of the war, but also as a testament to the power and resilience of community action. The site provides a place to celebrate and engage with the cultural diversity of the city and offers an example of how arts and events can drive a generation.